Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be doing back to your standard quick match online battles. I know I just put up the one which was a custom game. That was actually really fun. A little more enjoyable, I found, actually, than these uh, more competitive type online battles. Just because you can be way more casual with it, you get a lot more epic battles. You're not so much focused on winning, you're more focused on enjoying the experience of Total War. So that's something a little different. Anyways, here I'm going to be playing as Carthage. I still haven't played too much as Carthage, I don't really know what the best build for Carthage is. My impression of Carthage is they're a little bit lacking in terms of units. Um, I think they really do need more unit diversity. You don't see as many Iberians or Gallic mercenaries as I think um, Carthage would have had historically. They really don't have the the huge unit pool that you would think they would have something like uh, I think they should have something sort of like Rome where they just have a ton of different units that sort of overlap in their functionality but that range in uh, proficiency in different types of skills uh, because Carthage of course could draw on a vast pool of mercenaries and client states that would supply it with different units so I think the roster should reflect that um, and because it doesn't you kind of see Carthage lacking a little bit uh, of course the African pikemen are pretty strong but uh, you know you have access to elephants and, and stuff like that but still it doesn't really stand up to some of the other factions and uh, I recently saw a, a forum uh, people talking about this as well on the Total War uh, uh, website and they're saying how Carthage is pretty weak how in multiplayer or how in the uh, campaign you never really see them stand up for too long and that's due to a, a variety of factors I think anyways here I'm gonna be facing off against a, uh, a player playing as the Iceni and I decided to bring uh, a little artillery piece and I figured this is something I might start trying to introduce into more and more of my battles and the reason for it is uh, what you'll be seeing in patch 7 is more people trying to play with elephants trying to play with chariots because those are going to be very effective in the next patch and also people bring shock cab and stuff like that so this is a very cheap unit that I think you can use to target some uh, groups and uh, specifically so I'm gonna go ahead and target his chariots and right there I land one kill just in the first volley so you know um, that's I think it's well worth it you can get off a, a good amount of shots with that uh, ballista unit and uh, just keep peppering your opponent. I would say don't put it on fire at will. Definitely withhold um, the fire at will command and just target key units. Right here, my opponent doesn't really have too many key units that I would have liked to snipe. The chariots, of course, are good, but uh, they're kind of spaced out, and especially at this range, it's going to be a little hard to hit them. So I think the you'll see the um, those artillery pieces being most useful probably when you're fighting against uh, the Seleucids or someone with elephants. Uh, such as myself, my opponent had a couple of those units, he could easily start uh, just pinning up my elephants. Anyways, my opponent's going to be moving up with his guys here in the forest. He's trying to work my flanks. Um, what I'm going to do is move my Numidian skirmishers over to the right, and uh, I'm going to tell my guys to start targeting his units here. And uh, I find that the Ballista unit is actually pretty good at taking out clumps of cavalry, especially when they're lined up like this. You can see it's already reeking pretty significant amounts of damage on his men right there. Now I'm going to start to move in more reinforcements, move in the rest of my guys over here. I'm just exchanging uh, skirmishing basically with these guys over here. I know I like the Numidian uh, skirmishers here. Historically they're very very powerful, very effective at what they did, um, but I find in the current state of Rome 2 they really don't reflect the power that they had previously. Um, because look at that, that's three units right there that uh, are very weak in melee and yeah they can skirmish a lot but uh, I find they don't do much damage and at the end of the day uh, you might as well just bring one or two heavy uh, horsemen instead and they can just wreck this unit and do more damage so I find the game is kind of pushing a bit too hard towards shock cavalry and stuff like that um, at least I think with the newest patch what you'll be seeing actually is more of a focus on skirmishing I think that's good I think skirmishing should be viable but uh, it'll be interesting to see if they push it a bit too far at least you can see with these Numidians, they are pretty fast, so I can do a lot of tactics like that where I attack, retreat, attack, retreat, but it does take a good amount of micro. Uh, and for what it's worth, I think um, you have to take into account when you're buying units, you know, just how effective, uh, what the bang for your buck is. And I think a unit that you have to micro heavily does actually cost a little bit more because it just demands that much more tension in game. Uh, you can see some of his heroic riders down there are starting to waver. That's because I've been uh, landing so many hits on them. So I think, you know, for fair exchange, of just one of my um, ballista units that takes, I think it's just like 500 
um, talents. You know, if they can take out a noble horse, some of his chariots, maybe even an elephant troop, they, they definitely pay for themselves. Um, and it can change the, the balance of power in the game and allows you to dictate uh, where the engagements are because you can just move up and start picking off your opponent and they have to react somehow. Anyways, more harassment over here. Just coming in and out. Actually, I'm starting to do a good amount of damage now on his troops, especially when he's presented uh, the flanks of his forces to my guys. Going to try and shoot his chariots with my archers. Elephants right here are going to try and ward off his noble riders here. He's got a bunch of skirmishers in the vicinity, so I'm going to move in some of my own troops just to try and help out uh, in that engagement. Anyways, over here, my opponent is going to start moving up with his own skirmishers and try and charge in with his cavalry here. He wants to come and take out my archers. Probably a good move, but I have enough units ready to reinforce that area. These elephants are going to go ahead and charge his chariots. Elephants are very good at uh, taking out chariots. So here he's charging forward. I'm going to try and brace these guys as much as possible. Uh, I don't think the Iceni chariots are very good. Certainly not compared to the Seleucid chariots that you'll see because they have size. Whereas the Iceni ones are pretty much broken. I don't think they're that useful. Um, you can't exactly um, keep... Uh, abusing them like you can with the Seleucid chariots um, because with the Seleucids you kind of tell them to charge through a unit you don't tell it to actually charge the particular unit you want to attack you charge the unit behind it and so the chariots keep running through and when they run through they have like a knockdown mechanic um, anytime they move past the unit and keep moving they do more and more damage so you can really abuse those side of the chariots whereas the ones for Iceni they're, they're pretty useless I would think um, they do have some morale effects but uh, overall I, I would say don't don't bring them um, anyways, over here, we're engaging in the fight, um, moving in some spears for support. They're going to try and push out his guys here, although they are collapsing on my men. In this side, I'm going to start breaking up my, my pike wall, and they're going to go engage with his guys. My elephants have wrapped up the left side pretty well. Over here, my skirmishers have done their job, um, but you can see really at the end of the day, what did they do? Three cavalry units only managed to take out one cav unit, and then uh, one of his infantry, whereas if I had... Um, two shock cavalry really heavily upgraded. I think they could have done a lot more. So that's why I think these guys aren't super effective, but uh, I decided in this battle I'd try a couple new things. So bringing more of these skirmishing cavalry, bringing the ballista, uh, Cretan archers and all that stuff. But yeah, anyways, you can see once you zoom in, uh, very cool graphics. That's something I'm starting to do a bit more of. Um, right here, his guys are just going around me. When his units are not in, um, a, oh, I can't remember what the, the term is, but uh, attack formation or you know the Roman units right now are supposed to be in attack formation so when you attack a unit they're gonna stay fixed in their current shape whereas barbarians are gonna be able to wrap around you so you can actually change that in patch 7 that's really gonna change the dynamics because you saw right there with his units attacking my pikes if it were Romans they would have had a hard time but because he was attacking with barbarians he was able to just his units just uh, went around my sides and once they engaged on the sides then my guys started uh, they dropped out of phalanx formation anyway right here I did something kind of stupid I charged his spears but I figured with enough numbers I could just steal steam roll his guys over here you can see his chariots charging in really not doing too much uh, to my my mast phalanx right there and uh, yeah looks like on the left we're having a couple problems his guys have surrounded my troops right here I'm gonna tell my archers to try and take care of those uh, medley units right there I'm gonna try and reform my guys and take out those heroic nobles over here I'm gonna try and bring these guys to help out over here Charging in against his guys. I didn't really get a clear view of that flag, but it turns out that flag is actually going to be some spear troops. So my guys on that side are not going to hold up very well, especially since those aren't the most uh, uh, skilled or most proficient cavalry units that I have engaged against spears. They're not going to hold up very well. Anyways, my general is going to pop some ability. He's going to try and knock out these guys, but you can see his spearmen on this side are just holding up very, very well against my guys. Uh, that's one of the mechanics in Total War right now is that... Uh, you have units holding up a lot better against uh, even elephants sometimes and cavalry as opposed to earlier Total Wars where if I had that many cavalry I could just basically steamroll through all his guys and they would route pretty significantly. Anyways, I'm trying to slow down his men with the volley of arrows um, but they just keep coming so it must be a very scary sight for these archers. Nonetheless they're going to shoot point blank, take out a couple more men before they get to them um, and you can see the elephants in the background coming closer uh, but his guys are going to come into close contact with me and uh, engage. Elephants are going to move in here. Looks like my spear units over on the left are still in combat. These guys are trying to finish up the fight here. Over here, one of my archers is not completely engaged. We routed one of his uh, guys who had charged me. So I'm going to pull back and try and reform. Over here, you can see just what I said about um, some of these high stat troops who can just start slicing elephants. Um, so you got to be very, very careful of that. 
And as you can see how I let him take care of one of my archer units and then reform the rest of my troops back here. That's something you kind of got to learn to do is um, be able to sacrifice some troops uh, to save the rest. So right here he's just kind of slaughtering the, the remainder of this unit. Basically doing, uh, I'm doing no damage to him. So I'm going to try and do a holding action with my spears and use my uh, archers who are remaining up there to shoot his guys in the distance. And I'm going to try and take his guys out one by one here and uh, keep trying to reform. Got out of pipe formation to move quicker. Decided to reform just to turn around. And look at these guys, my guys who are charging him. You'll see when they engage and they throw their um, their projectiles from the flank. That did a lot of damage. So, um, you know, you'll see uh, flank attacks by infantry are even more effective in this game if they have some sort of projectile because you hit them in the exposed flank and it does uh, a lot more damage when they don't have their, their shield showing. Anyways, his troops are going to try and charge by. Disengage my pikes hoping to catch them. Um, but my opponent actually has a lot more troops starting to mass and starting to come around the flank, so I'm going to have to pull out these archers here, really retreat, run away. These pikes are way too slow, um, but at least I've been able to knock out one of his guys. My opponent's going to turn around and try and chase down these guys. You can see how slow his units are, it's because they're exhausted, so that's going to be good. Exhausted units are not good uh, when fighting against pikes, so I'm going to try and reform, fight his guys, and charge out with both my units. My guys are going to turn around, throw some projectiles, do decent amounts of damage and he's gonna try and reform with his troops. I think one of the problems he has right now is he's kind of attacking piecemeal um, towards my guys. He should have reformed all his men um, because I think he would have had numerical superiority. I was gonna drop those artillery pieces and keep attacking. I realize I have more troops over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them in. So that's gonna allow me to tip the, the scale of the battle. Anyways, I'd like to thank my opponent for the battle, very cinematic, very cool. I like zooming in now. I, I enjoy it a lot more. Um, yeah, you can see my pikes here. Uh, on attack formation, sometimes they have problems moving forward and engaging. I think that's fixed in patch 7, so we'll have to wait and see just how effective pikes are. But I, I, I did also hear that pikes with the new spacing can get uh, beat up pretty easily, so we'll have to see how that turns out with patch 7. It's kind of annoying how all these patches drastically can change the dynamics of the game. I think they really need to split uh, single player tweaks to the units from multiplayer tweaks to the units because every time they try and change something it might help the campaign but it, it, uh, it could end up hurting multiplayer. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully online. Peace out.